everybody. So today I'm going to show you my setup with um, two cameras. I use my computer camera when I'm using Zoom and then also my phone camera when I'm using Zoom. And I'm mostly going to show you um, how I put the phone camera on a stand so that you can see my um, hand working on a drawing or a painting at the same time as my student is um, because I know that most of you guys have figured out how to use the um, computer camera to have your face showing on Zoom. That's pretty easy. Um, but to get an additional camera on so that you can show the work that you're doing, this is really helpful for your art teacher and um, it's helpful for you to see your art teacher's work. So hopefully you've got one who's figured this out. Um, but I'm gonna link the equipment that I've purchased um, in order to do this. It was about, I wanna say $100 for both pieces. Um, uh, I've got a Joby and then a, um, a, a canvas easel. So um, together they work to show the artwork that I'm doing at the same time as my students. So let me show you that. Okay, so this is the setup that I use on a daily basis with my students when I'm working with them from Zoom. I've got a drafting board here and a, a watercolor on the table that you can see. I'm going to pan up so you can see I've got my um, computer screen and my computer gear and keyboard, printer, um, a mass of cords because none of this can be done without that scramble of cords that we all hate. Um, I've got my regular art supplies that I use over here on a um, daily basis, just kind of ready at hand. And then I've got a bunch of storage with other art supplies, but more importantly, I've got what used to be a canvas easel. Um, I modified it so that I'm just using the tripod part. And attached to that, I've got a Joby and what I do is I put my phone in the Joby and I can clamp it in there. And then I have this really easy ability using the Joby to just slide. It's going to be a little jerky for you guys because that's just what it takes to move it. But and I've actually got it tighter than I usually do because I just readjusted it. But um, usually I have it just a little bit loose so I can raise it up. And then, sorry for making you seasick, I can bring it down. And that way, as I'm drawing or painting, my students can see the detail right as I'm zooming with them. And then I have another camera set up with my um, computer and usually my computer is sitting on my printer so that it's the right height um, and that way I can use that camera for um, a, a view of my face so that way it's a little bit more personal and we still get to in theory look at each other in the eye even though it's via this technology that's so weird but that is my setup and I hope that really helps you guys out so that you can do the same thing um, with your art teacher. Okay. Okay, so using my computer camera poised to show my face and then the camera setup that I just showed you using the Joby and the easel um, tripod, that is how I work with my students every day on Zoom. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I know we've probably got another three or four months of um, schooling and working from home. Um, so hang in there, stay safe and um, Know that I'm out here 
doing the same mask wearing, uh, hand washing, trying to keep my loved ones safe um, by staying away from them that you guys are. All right. Thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. It really helps me out. Um, and I'll see you guys soon.